Hello and welcome to Devil's Advocate. On what basis has the Indian team for the Cricket World Cup been chosen? That's one of the issues I shall discuss today in an exclusive interview with the chairman of the selectors, the Deep Pensakar. Mr. Pensakar, let's start with team selection. There's a widespread belief that a significant shift has taken place in the thinking and philosophy of team selection since you took over as chairman from Kiran More. Would you accept that? Yeah, I accept that, yeah. Because if you see, I think a lot of players, I think, who were not there before, I think we have selected them. Purely, purely, I think, form and fitness. I think which is very important for us. Let I me age, sum up. Age, 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 of course, I think no criteria for that. Age is no criteria. Age is no in criteria. fact, that was the point I was going to make because, in a sense, Kiran Mori's approach was summed up when he said, we're not just speaking for the next few months. Some players in the team also, I think, they back Sehwag. Yeah, because Sehwag, I think, has done exceedingly well in the past. And besides, I think he has won a lot of matches for India. So we are hoping that he would do well in the World Cup. When you say some players in the team back Sehwag, are you suggesting that you were under pressure from the captain in particular? Not under pressure as such, but then again, I think I would, uh, I, think I would always back captain. And the captain wanted Sehwag? Definitely, yes. So that in a sense made the difference? Yeah. But and if Rahul hadn't demanded Sehwag, then there's a possibility Sehwag might not have gone? Definitely, I agree with you. So Rahul really made the difference. He made the difference, because again, I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to go uh, and say that. I think you know, I think I would always back a captain, you know, because uh, I think in eighteen and I think when I was a captain, you know, there were always three versus two selection committee meetings, you know, you know, and they never gave me players or whatever. I think you know, which 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 I think I was keen on. You back. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want Rahul to go through the same thing, as you had to go through, as I had to go through. So that is why actually I backed Sehwag because Rahul insisted I think he should be there. You backed the captain, but in doing so it was a bit of a gamble, wasn't it? It is a bit of a gamble, definitely. Uh, but, but again, I think cricket you have to take these gambles. Have you got your fingers crossed? Absolutely, <laughs> very tightly. <laughs> One of the consequences of the team that you've chosen, people say, is that fielding could be a weakness. Greg Chappell in an interview to Crick Info has said, concern is probably not strong enough. We are going to concede runs in the field to better teams. There's no doubt about that. Do you share Greg Chappell's concern? I do share his uh, uh, concern, and I always feel I think the you know, fielding I think is a bit of this thing I think which is uh, which 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 I would say is weak link. But again, I think we got a strong batting lineup, you know, and we would score runs. But you're putting a lot of pressure on the batting lineup, and you're putting a lot of pressure on your bowlers because your fielding will be conceding. Greg says perhaps up to 30 runs a match. Well, 30 runs I wouldn't say. I think 30 runs as such, you know. But the thing is that I think we have got the best batting lineup in the world cricket. And if you see, I think, I think Irfan can bat number seven or eight. I think we've got a strong batting lineup. You're really relying on Irfan and Yuvraj Singh pulling together. But suppose Irfan and Yuvraj let you down because their fitness doesn't work. Suppose Sehwag lets you down because his form doesn't work. And then, of course, you have Anil Kumble who's aging. In that circumstance, with a weak fielding side, you're putting a lot of pressure on the rest of the team. Not really, because I think if you see at a batting lineup, man to man, I think it's the best in the world. You know, if Sehwag fails, you know. Dhoni will score runs. I think Dhoni fails. Sachin will score runs. You know, and if you see the batting lineup from uh, one, one, one to eight, I think it's the best batting lineup. In these circumstances, when you have, in fact, a weak fielding side, which you acknowledge and the coach acknowledges it as well, shouldn't you have considered someone like Mohammed Kaif? After all, he's a great fielder. And more than that, the last time the team went to the West Indies, he ended up being India's best performing batsman in the five one-day games they played there. Yeah, but if you see his form, uh, uh, he's not scored runs, really, to be honest with you. You know, you know, and just having a good fielder, uh, you know, we want batsmen to score runs also. I think who will put runs on the board? So good fielding is not enough. Not enough. I think you have to bat as well. And it was the fact that he wasn't batting well that was held against Kef. Very true. One last issue to do with team selection before I take a break. What is the logic and the thinking behind appointing someone like Sachin Tendulkar as vice captain? Yeah, because Rahul Dravid, I think, experienced uh, other guy in the team. And you know, Sachin also is an experienced player in the team. You know, you know there's something, something, something happens to Rahul. I got forbid. And I think we wanted somebody uh, who is experienced player. I think who would lead the side. Did Rahul ask for such an advice? Yeah, captain? nobody asked for. Did such you him. consult Rahul before you chose? We, such we did not. So it was entirely a decision taken without Rahul asking or without Rahul being consulted? Yes. Kapil Dev has gone on record to say that, in fact, the vice captaincy should be considered as a sort of training ground, a grooming ground for the future captain. You've disagreed with that, haven't you? No, I agree with him. But then who would you pick as a vice captain now, at this stage of the thing? I think, 
I think I thought Sachin was the best man to lead the side. I think in case Rahul, uh, Rahul, Rahul is not there in the team. You're also suggesting that Sachin was chosen by default because there was no one else there. Therefore, you had to have Sachin. I wouldn't say that because uh, Sachin is an experienced player. Uh, I think he he's led India before. I think he's been captain of his state also, Mumbai also. You know, and, and I thought I think he was the best man to lead. Suppose Rahul Dravid were to step down for the captaincy after the World Cup ends, you could then be left in the embarrassing position of having to appoint someone as captain who's never had the benefit of being vice-captain. I can think, I think, beyond World Cup at the moment. Uh, and, and you're I hoping that doesn't happen? No, nothing. I think that sort of thing, nothing. I think it won't happen, I'm sure about it. Once again, you've got your fingers crossed. Well, you never know. I think anything can happen in cricket as such, you know. But the thing is that I don't want to go on record. Uh, I have to say what will happen, I think, future. Let's take a break at that point. I want to come back and talk about the future, not in terms of who's going to be captain, but how you think the team is going to do and what you think the future is for the team. We'll be back in a moment's time to continue this interview. See you after that. Welcome back to Devil's Advocate and an exclusive interview with the chairman of the cricket selectors, Dilip Vengsakar. Mr. Vengsakar, let's look ahead. India plays its first World Cup match on the 17th with Bangladesh. How important is a good start? Well, I think it's the most important. I think if you get a good start, I think nothing like it because uh, it's important to win all the matches. You know, and winning is a habit they have to form early in the tour. So the earlier they start winning, the more they will build confidence. True. Last time round, the team, in fact, got off to a pretty shaky start. If the same thing were to happen this time round, do you think this team which people have described as dad's army has the capacity to pull things back together? Obviously, yes, definitely. This is a good side, I think, don't say... Uh, uh, the thing is that uh, you know, there's a good blend of youth and experience. This is not dad's army, as, such, as, as I think you're saying. But the thing is that I think you have to win all the matches, you know, and they have the capacity to win the matches. Last time round, when the team didn't begin well, there was, in fact, an enormous emotional response in India. There were questions asked in Parliament. In fact, sadly, there were even stones thrown on the homes of some of the players. What advice as chairman of the cricket selectors do you give to Indian fans? The thing is that I think it's just a game. You know, and one must not go overboard with emotions. I think just sit back and enjoy cricket. The problem is that if the team isn't playing well, and if they're not playing well because people feel unfit players have been chosen or out of form players have been chosen, then is it t easy to take it in the way you're suggesting? No, if you see, I think unfit players are not chosen, first and foremost thing. I think Irfan Patan, I think, is declared fit 100%. Yuraj Singh, uh, I think, is scored runs. I think he's 100% fit. So there is no unfit person in the team at all now, at the moment. So when the, press, the, form points is important. To these two as being, when the press points to these two as being unfit, you therefore refute that completely? Absolutely. But the thing is that, sure, uh, sure, sure, I think uh, he has not played last eight matches. Uh, he just played one match I think, out of eight matches. But then again, he's got his fitness back. I think he bowled for Vezon. I think he bowled really well. But then I think you can't call him unfit now because uh, if you see uh, that if he's physio out uh, of the team, I think he's declared himself 100% fit. Does it worry you that if the team doesn't click in the beginning, many Indian fans who are so keen on seeing India win might actually turn to the selectors and they might perhaps turn to you in particular and say, you sent the wrong guys. But who would you send? If you're a selector, who would you send? That, of course, is the This is the best team I think we could choose. You know, and this is the best combination we could choose. So, so if they don't perform well, you know, you can't help it. So that's the other message you're giving the Indian audience. You're saying if they don't perform well, don't blame the selectors. This is the lot of people we have to choose from. No, but I'm optimistic about the whole thing. I think they will do really well. Because if you see, I think it's the best team what we have at the moment. I think there are players, I think, who are experienced, I think, who are young also. You know, and they will do well in the World Cup. You say you're optimistic. In that case, you know that everyone wants India to win. But realistically speaking, how far do you personally expect India to go? Yeah, well, if they uh, go uh, go till the last four, I, I think it could be anybody's cup. All the way to the semi-finals? All the way to the semi-finals. You realistically expect them to go, or are you just saying that because you have to? No, not necessarily. I think every team is equal. If you see, I think all eight teams in the fray are their good sides. You know, and again, I think whoever plays well on the particular day will win. Let me rephrase that. Will you as selector, as chairman of the selectors, be disappointed if India doesn't make it to the semi-finals? Of course, I'll be very, very disappointed. Because you think on form and fitness and on the sort of selection you've made, this team should go to the semi-finals. Yeah, because as I said before, I think it's the best team, team, uh, team, team we have at the moment. 
you know, and they must reach the semi final because I think they have the ability. You know, the, the thing is that they have to believe in themselves. You know, they're the best in the world, at and they are the best in the world. At this moment in time, given that they've had a lot of ups, but they've had a lot of downs as well, do you think they believe in themselves, or have they gone with doubt in their mind? I don't think so, because if you see the last eight matches, I think what what we just finished now, I think they played like champions. But the track record before the last eight matches was pretty awful. And yeah, that was in South Africa. Is that still and in the back of their mind? They could be playing South Africa. Yeah, fair enough, but they'll be playing in West Indies. And if it's conditions, I think West Indies, you know, in India, there's not much difference. And I hope, and I'm sure, I think, uh, I think they will do extremely well. How much difference, in your analysis, how much difference, and what was the contribution of Greg Chappell to India's preparation for the World Cup? Yeah, they quite a lot. I think he's been the coach for the last two years, uh, and he's done reasonably well. I think we have won quite a few matches. Uh, and uh, he has uh, you know, brought in... A, the input is quite, quite, uh, quite important for the team's success. You've used a very careful, measured word. You said he's done reasonably well. That doesn't sound like big praise. Yeah, you can't say I think he's won all the matches for India. Uh, you know, Indian team, I think, has uh, done exceedingly well as such, you know. But if you see last eight matches, I think they have peaked, uh, peaked quite well. So you have a few reservations about the manner in which Greg has coached the team? Not really. I wouldn't say that. I think he's done reasonably well. You could, so as I said again, uh, and you can't say I think he's an extremely well. Like I think you know he has just absolutely changed the side as such, you know. But uh, but uh, but again, I think he's trying his best, you know, and he's given a shot. Has he lived up to the enormous expectations people had when he came? Well, that we will have to see uh, after the World Cup. Uh, I think you know how the team plays in the World Cup. So at the moment, regarding Greg, if you were to be asked your advice whether he should be retained after the World Cup, is your answer that let's see how the World Cup goes? I wouldn't say that because then Greg, 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 I think has done well, and I hope he remains with the team beyond the World Cup. Yeah, beyond the World Cup. So your vote, if it is asked for, is to keep Greg as coach beyond the World Cup. Well, again, I think it's up to the BCCI. It's not up to me. True, but, but if you ask me, definitely I would like to him to be there. I think uh, uh, with the team. When you first took over. You made certain comments about the fact that perhaps India wasn't always picking the best talents and you were particularly concerned about junior selectors. Do you think that we are finding the right talent, nurturing it and giving it opportunities? Yeah. I, I, see, if you see, I think BCC infrastructure, I, I found the 15s, 17s, 19s, the excellent infrastructure what we have. But then I think I would say, uh, I think I acted as a talent supporter in the last three years. You know, and we supported, I think, some good guys. And they have been groomed in NCA, and now they are playing for India. And the thing is that I, I think it was an excellent supply line for Indian cricket. And I think BCC has done doing doing a really good job for, I think, of that. But NCA can play a very important role, uh, role in Bangalore. Is enough being done to, in fact, spot talent, or do we do it in spurts? I think they have stopped that system. They've stopped uh, the system. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know for what, but the thing is that. Uh, I think it played a very, very important role in sporting talent. Because the thing is that I think a lot of players, I think small towns have been spotted and groomed. And they are playing for India at the moment. If they've, spot, if they've stopped a system that was actually providing talent and providing the team for the future, then what will be the consequence? Suddenly, that supply line will dry up. Yeah, that is the reason, actually, I think we have to have, I think, the India A tours. I think those players, I think, who are in the fringe, I think, you know, can to with the India A team. You know, and uh, uh, gain, gain, gain experience and exposure. So it sounds to me as if looking beyond the World Cup, your real concern is that we aren't building players for the future. We need to find the talent more actively and energetically. Yeah, because if you see, I think five or six players at their 34, 35, you know, and they may for a, uh, they may they, they may be there for a year or two. And then what? Yeah, and then what? That is why I think India A tours are very, very important. I think if you can organize those tours for Australia and other countries like South Africa, if the, if the India A team can go there you know, and play matches, they will uh, uh, get experience and uh, the exposure. Have you communicated this to the BCCI? Yeah, we have. Have they responded as you would like them to? Not yet as such. Uh, not yet? Not yet. But time is running out. I mean, in a year or two, these elder players will be retiring, and then what? No, but if you see the itinerary, uh, I think international itinerary as such, I think they'll be free, I think, you know, only in August and September, you know, in March and April. So that's when they have to get into work? They will have to get Are the work Are you confident BCCI will respond as you want them to? I'm sure they will. 
you're sure i am sure devil mr venkatesh a pleasure talking to you on devil's advocate thank you very much